Good afternoon. I have two birthdays. One to celebrate the day I was brought into this world, and one that honors the gift of life that I received. We affectionately call my lung transplant anniversary my lung birthday, or my second birthday. On this day every year, I think about my donor and his family and the blessing that they gave to me that day. I also think about all the love and support that I got from my family during that stressful time. This is kind of emotional for me because that day is coming up, it's this Friday. My donor saved my life nine years ago, back on October 21st. Before the transplant, I was really your average girl. Born and raised in Tampa, I come from a very loud and vibrant family. <laughs> I am one of three kids in my family, I have two brothers. We played outside all the time growing up, had a very healthy childhood. The only time I ever had a health problem was when I broke my arm when I was 11. And that was my one experience at the hospital until I turned 25. I knew early on as a child watching my mother work as a nurse that I wanted to be a healthcare professional. I majored in science at USF and I decided I would go to dental school to be a dentist. And I left for Washington DC in 2006. Now this was my first time away from home. I was super excited to live on my own in a big city. I met a great group of people. And now school is hard. I had 12 classes, went to school eight to five every day. If I wasn't sleeping, I was studying, but I was having the time of my life. At the end of the first year, I noticed things were a little bit off with me. I thought I was getting the flu. I had the body aches and pains. After going to the doctor, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I told docs to give me some meds and I would head back to school. Within a week, I had trouble walking. A couple days after that, I couldn't breathe. I went to another doctor. They did an x-ray of my lungs and they said that my lungs looked like Swiss cheese, that my lung tissue basically had developed so much scar tissue that I had holes in my lungs. Now the diagnosis was a rapidly progressing pulmonary fibrosis, probably related to my rheumatoid arthritis. I was listed for a transplant in September, and when I received the call that they found, I was told that I received because I was not likely to have made it to Thanksgiving of that year. But I did. I've been to eight more Thanksgivings because of my donor. Life after transplant has had its challenges, but I feel I have had many more blessings. I've been married now almost three years. A wonderful man. I think we're still doing a good job because we still like each other. <laughs> I work as a private tutor for children and young adults, and I enjoy making them excited about learning new things and achieving their goals. I still enjoy being outside and I've taken up playing volleyball on the weekends when I can. And we also travel as often as we can. I feel I'm not just living a life for myself anymore, I'm living for my donor as well. We also just became homeowners for the first time and our greatest adventure is yet to be. We plan on starting a family. There aren't enough words to express just how thankful my family and I are for the gift of life I was so fortunate to receive from families just like yours. Sadly, I would never be able to thank them personally. So I have chosen to honor my donor and their family's sacrifice by living every day, every minute, every second to the fullest. Striving to be the best wife, daughter, sister, and advocate for organ donation. In doing so, I hope I have earned such a special gift. Thank you.